Okay, welcome back everyone. If it's your first time here, my name is Charlie Solis. This is my 10 inch Tesla turbine. Today I'm gonna to be doing a power test of how long we can power a 1200 watt load, which will be these light bulbs from Home Depot. These worksite lights each are 600 watts. They're standard off the shelf. We are gonna be working with 150 PSI and 170 gallon tank. Dumping that into the turbine, I don't have my compressor running to refill it, so it'll just be what this tank can supply for as long as it can supply. I've got my throttle over here. I know there's a bunch of these tubes going on through here. It seems complicated. This is just a thermal addition plate heat exchanger setup. That's gonna be propane heated just to simulate adding heat to the compressed air before it goes into the turbine. So we can do tests on how the increase in the temperature increases the efficiency of the turbine. Specifically by increasing the temperature of the working fluid, it'll increase the viscosity of it. Most people don't realize that gases actually have the opposite trend of viscosity as liquids usually do. Whereas liquids, as they get hot, they get more runny and drippy and thick as they get cold, where gases do the opposite. They get thick as they get hot and then they get runny or when they're cold. The RPM of the motor will be 611 times this voltage reading on the reader. It'll be about somewhere between 10 and 11. It's the single phase voltage of the three phase generators that are being rectified with a three phase DC rectifier being put into a 4,000 continuous 8,000 watt peak inverter. The voltage coming out of the rectifier will be 1.7 times the voltage of this single lead and that has to do with rectification and how it jumps it up and it slightly pulses it at a higher than each individual lead let me kind of just show you guys around the turbine has just the three phase coming off going into the dc rectifier these dc rectifiers are then going into the inverter each generator the one on each side is being put in parallel so the currents will add the voltages will be equal we can take a look inside these lights the standard 600 watt halogen bulbs all of my tanks are outside these are the pipes that are coming in for them i think without further ado i'm going to pull the trigger These aren't even hot. I'm getting a lot of gear losses in this system. If you, what you're hearing is 90% of those gears. I wasn't, I'm not sure exactly how long that went. I think it was something like 30 to 40 seconds. I will check on the camera here. Oh, and before I go, we can see just how much of the tank we actually used. It is at just over 60 PSI. Hope you guys like that. Keep watching, stay tuned. I'm gonna do larger loads here. I've got able to do all the way up to 4,200. Have a good time, guys.